Hi, I'm Fawad Motalabi. I work as a lecturer at Curtin University at Faculty of Engineering. This is the networking lab, and I'm going to give you a presentation about cloud computing. I'm a Cisco certified instructor, and <coughs> cloud computing is something which is very important in my field and something which I'm sure you use as well. So let's go on this journey. So let's start with the concept of cloud computing. Today we'll be, look at, we'll be looking at cloud computing, compare cloud computing concepts, describe the uses of the cloud, and explain the characteristics of public-private hybrid and community cloud computing. So let's delve into cloud computing. Cloud computing allows us to store personal files or backup our data on servers over the internet. Applications can also be accessed using the cloud. It allows businesses to deliver to any device anywhere in the world. How does this become possible? By using data centers around the world. Small companies that can't afford their own data centers, they rent or lease server and storage services from larger data centers and other organizations. And these are actually called the cloud. Okay, so we can say cloud computing is made possible by data centers. We have four types of clouds. We got public clouds, private clouds, hybrid clouds, custom clouds. Public clouds are generally available to the public and they can either be a pay per use model or they can give you a limited storage space for free. We also have private clouds which is intended for specific organizations like government or special institutions in return for a fee. We have hybrid clouds. It's made up of two or more cloud types. For example, half of it can be custom and half of it can be public. And each part has a distinctive service connected to it. We also have custom clouds. It is built to meet the needs of specific industry, such as healthcare or media, which can also be public or private. Clouds are still a new concept in computing and a lot of research is being carried out in the cloud computing area. How do we use the cloud? Cloud computing provides users with on-demand delivery of computer services over the internet. Access to databases becomes much more easier by using clouds. Most of us already use cloud services when you use social media applications, when you access your music library and download your favorite songs, or when you are using online storage for saving photos. These are some of the users of the cloud. Cloud service providers can provide various services tailored to meet customer requirements. Example is software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. You use those services and you pay them a certain amount. It can be monthly or yearly. Some of the characteristics of cloud computing can be on-demand self-service. It can change rapid, rapidly, as in rapid elasticity. It can be resource pooling, measured and metered service. It can also be broad network access. Another aspect where we use cloud computing is when we use it in our home technology, uh, which is a growing trend that allows us to integrate our daily appliances by uh, integrating it on the, uh, with other appliances on the internet. How can we do that? By accessing the cloud. Okay? For example, an oven might know what time to cook a meal for you uh, by communicating with your calendar. 
uh, on what time uh, you are return, uh, you are scheduled to return. Uh, smart home technology is currently being developed for all rooms within a house. And one aspect of development for this is communication with the cloud. That's why I said earlier, cloud is being used a lot for research and development. That brings us to the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.